Um, oh, hey, morning, Diesel. Morning, Diesel. How you doing, man? How you doing? Top of this Sunday morning to you. Top of this Sunday morning to you. Very excited to be alive today. Good boy. Sergeant! Morning! Indeed! Oh, it's another new day. It is Sunday. Hope you're having a good restful day. We are here at home still. Hopefully tomorrow the truck will be ready so we can get out of here and end this unscheduled vacation. That would be great. Go make, uh, get some miles in again. Get out there. It's kind of nice that I had, you know, uh, these unscheduled vacations in uh, winter time because it's winter time and I'd rather spend winter time at home than on the road. It's just me. I need to get uh, my shaver. I left my shaver in the truck and the truck is at the shop and the shop is an hour and some away and my shaver is in the truck. Coming into a bit of a crisis here. My mustache is getting a little bit out of control here. It's having a party here on my lip and I'm not okay with that. But, oh well, you guys just have to deal with that and forgive me for my ungroomingness for today. It's not my fault. How did I get a hole in my fuel tank anyways? That's why the truck's in the shop. Because I got a hole in one of my fuel tanks. And it was leaking. Well, obviously very little because I didn't notice it and I couldn't even see anything where I parked it here. Must have just been a drip an hour or something. But that's still one drip an hour too many. So they're patching it. And they had to send it out to a third party to, to do this, right? That's why. So they had to drain all the fuel. I don't know where they put it. They better have kept it because I want that fuel back. It's expensive fuel. It's like 350 gallons. I got some big tanks, like 500 liters. But uh, uh, yeah, they had to drain all the fuel out of the tanks and then take the tank off the truck and then take it into the city. I guess they put it on the back of their pickup truck and work or something. I don't know, maybe the guy came and picked it up or I don't know. They had to send it away into the city. That's what they told me anyways, unless they got the guy to come fix it there. But either way, that's the process. And then they got to put it back on the truck and then fill it up again and then make sure it's not leaking. Yep. And wherever this is happening, they have my shaver. I need my shaver. <laughs> Maybe I need to go get another one for, for the house so I don't need to bring it back and forth, you know? I need a shaver here and I need a shaver in the truck. But look at this beautiful day outside there, eh? Look at that. Just a gorgeous day outside. <laughs> you can see Diesel's trail going straight to the tree. That is his tree. Absolutely. That is his, the neighbor dog back there. He likes to come over here and think it's his tree, huh? Uh, Diesel doesn't like that very much. Uh uh. I think Diesel saves up a little bit of extra in his reserves just to, you know, really soak it down and make sure that that dog knows this is his tree. So it seems like, anyways. Pretty soon, Sergeant will be battling for that. We're gonna get you neutered before you get into that habit, though, right? I think so. You don't need him, anyways. <laughs> He has no idea what I'm talking about yet. No idea. Right? It's got to be done, man. I can't have you guys marking everything in my house and fighting over territory in my house. It's my house. I'll mark it. I'll mark it. All right. I'm going to play a little tune here. I'm not the best. I'm just learning, but it's what I've got so far. It's the first song I've learned. I'll see if any of you recognize which song it is. Uh, there might be some errors in here still. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best, but we'll see. Let's do some picking. Do some picking. Picking, picking. There we go. Minus that bad ending there. 
I'm happy with the progress I've made so far. Imagine if I had this much time to play all day. I've just been sitting here picking for like three hours. I know, and that's all I've come up with. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's fast or slow, but it's been the progress I've made. Uh, I've been practicing this song over the past couple of weeks already, but I haven't actually sat down and uh, practiced it, especially the ending, this little like... How's it going? That's hard. She's got a slide, right? So. There you go. Hey, Sergeant, get out of that. It's garbage. Room's gonna fall on you, man. Room's gonna fall on you. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. All right. again for you once I know it like down pat like whoosh. but that's the progress I've made so far guys uh banjos are fun and you can do a lot of different things with the banjo and I'm just tipping the surface right now so I'm probably gonna go to mom and dad soon and uh show them what I can do and uh let's see if they're busy today or not they haven't called me yet so I don't know I think we'll give them a call see what they're doing this evening I know dad's home so I'll go check that out Steinbach here. We stopped by Timmy's. Can't go through Steinbach without stopping at Timmy's. It ruins the whole day. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Tim. Mr. Tim. Of course, the drive through lineup is all the way around the block. Lovely. It's worth it. It's the one thing Canadians will always wait patiently for. Nice, perfect line. Timmy's, Timmy's. You see, all the way around there, goes all the way around the building, all the way around to the other side. And they come out the other side there. It's just nothing like it. I don't know what it is about Tim Hortons. You know, people from other places always ask me, like, what is it about Tim Hortons that Canadians love so much? It's, the only answer is, because it's Tim Hortons. It's the only answer I have for you. There is there is no real answer. It's just it's Tim Hortons. It's the best. But you have to have it with an espresso shot. It is a little bit weak for coffee. Uh, but Starbucks, on the other hand, no offense to you Starbucks lovers, nothing wrong with Starbucks. Personally, for me, it's way too bitter. Way too bitter. There isn't a coffee that I can drink. It's just the whole time, you know? Dunkin' Donuts in the States, I've had that. I like it. Nothing good or bad to say about it. It's it's there. There it is. But Tim Hortons. You put an espresso shot in your coffee if you guys drink coffee. And then it gives it a bit of a kick. Like a hua! Right. Right in there, you know? That's what you're looking for. A little hua! From Tim Hortons. And your whole day goes off better. I don't know. It's just... It makes people happy. And it did originate here. It's not Canadian owned anymore because somebody in the States bought it. But uh, Burger King owns Tim Hortons now and Burger King just recently moved their uh, headquarters into Canada. So we stole Burger King from you guys, sorry. 
<laughs> so you can have Timmy's, but you got you got to bring Burger King up here if you're gonna have Timmy's. I'm sorry. Sorry. I think they did it for tax reasons. I don't know. They were trying to escape some tax down in the states, so they moved their whole headquarters into Canada, which doesn't make sense to me because I thought our taxes were way higher. But apparently, for businesses like that, it's cheaper to run the business out of Canada. Okay, so what day is it, man? What day is it? They keep running together. Fast forward to Monday morning. Howdy. It's Monday. The truck won't be ready today, but it looks like it'll probably be ready for tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's vlog so it doesn't confuse you. Anyways, seeing as it's the next day, the post office is open today. So I'm going to run into Steinbeck and I'm going to see if I can open up a P.O. box. So I know there's a lot of you that uh, like to send like cards and letters and stuff. and. I like getting them, you know? It's, it's, I miss that connection with you guys, you know? So we're gonna go and reopen another one. Right, Diesel? It's time. It is time. Right, on our way into town. Takes a little bit to get in there yet. My mustache is still getting out of control here, isn't it? Really need to get a new shaver. I left my shaver in the truck. The truck isn't here. So, well, we're all just gonna have to suffer with this thing on my face. It's been worse, believe me, you all know that. <laughs> yeah, so let's go get a P.O. box. Steinbach. Steinbach. Steiner. Steinbach. So we're going to the post office here. So the post office address is going to be in Steinbach, unless if they don't let me get one. I know I have to pay for it, because I have a personal address, obviously, where I live. But I don't want to use that one. So i got to get uh, one for... Uh, the online webs. So we're gonna do that in Steinbeck here. If I can get there, everybody seems to be in like Monday mode today. Oh yeah, because it's Monday. But 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 but. Nobody wants to be at work today yet. Right, there's the post office off on the left. There, right in the corner here. This is apparently the post. Office. I've never even been inside here. <laughs> ever. I don't think I've ever been in here. All right. I've always lived just outside of town, you know, in, in the country. Okay. This is where I have to pay for parking? I better not have to pay for parking. This is a, yeah, this is a metered parking lot here in Steinbach. This is Steinbach. Why are you making me pay for parking in Steinbach? No, thank you. Look at this. Metered parking. What do you think, us Steinbachers are rich or something? Pay for parking in Steinbach. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it a joke. Metered parking Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well then, let's go find some parking that isn't metered. How about that? Let's cheat. Don't cheat, children. Never cheat. Do what I say, not what I do. We're gonna go park across the street somewhere. At the mall, I think. There's a little bit of an extra walk then, but whatever, I'll walk. I don't wanna pay for parking. I don't pay to park this beast. This beast parks itself. Wherever it wants to. Okay. I'm going across the street over here. Metered parking. <laughs> I'll show you what I think of metered parking. I'll park over here. Can I park here? Oh yeah, yeah, lots of room. Look at all this stuff here. Oh yeah, there you go, right here. Right in front of this nice Chevy. Ah, Chevy right there. These two Chevys can stare at each other for a little while. There you go. Don't let my aggressive grill scare you there, Mr. Cruz. Pardon me, Miss Cruz. So I got a little bit bigger of a box than just the little tiny one. I got one step up. $200 a year to have that mailbox. Did you know that? $200 a year for a mailbox. <whistles> Plus I had to pay for the key rental for the first year. So what was it, like $235? Wow. You always get one mailing address free, right? Obviously they don't make you pay $200 for a mailing address just for your home. But I can't use my one at my home. Uh, for uh, It's my personal one. So I got one for YouTube, yeah. And the internet. What not. Huh, it's blown away. It's like 200 what? Anyways, so it's done. You guys ready for it? Here it is. You're going to write this down. You don't have to. Uh, box 3838. 
So P.O. Box 38, Steinbach, Manitoba, uh, R5G1Z1. Or for my American friends, R5G1Z1. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen there for you. There it is right there. You guys can take a look at it. So that is a way of getting in touch with me. Uh, a little bit more of a personal way if you want to. If you want to think of it that way. But uh, I used to have one in Ildashane. For a lot of you, you have joined me in the last few months when I have not had a P.O. Box. I used to have one in Ildashane where I lived all the time. Now I moved. So when I moved, I moved into the bush. And I wanted to keep a mailing address there personal, like for my bills and whatnot. And it's a very small post office. Seriously, the parcels that some of you guys have sent in the past, they would not fit in that little shack of a post office that they have there. No offense to that post office. But uh, it's just, they don't need it to be any bigger, right? <laughs> I would overrun them. Uh, so I went to into Steinbach here, which is a little ways away, but I pass through here every time uh, on the way home. So I can easily stop in and get the mail and whatnot. So there you guys go. Box 38, Steinbach, Manitoba, R5G1Z1. It's done. Absolutely. Finally. Uh, so now I'm going to end the vlog, guys. Thanks for joining me today. It might have been a little bit of a shorter vlog. My footage has been all over the place this weekend because I've been doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, with this new thing with Discovery and Seeker that I'm on now, everything's changing a little bit. I'm just getting used to it, getting into the swing of things. Not that big of a change or nothing. There's no change for you guys. You guys aren't going to notice any change. Uh, it's not like you guys are going to be bombarded with all kinds of different stuff now. No, pretty much you'll see uh, the Seeker logos at the front of my videos and the end of my videos. And uh, whatnot, maybe the odd product placement or something. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect with these guys. They are a really good group of people, though. I've talked to a lot of people who know them personally, and I trust them. They're good, and uh, it's going to be a good thing for the channel. It's pretty much just to uh, help grow the channel, right? And grow the videos, and grow the brand name Trucker Josh. Because believe it or not, that is sort of my brand name online, because my parents didn't name me Trucker, and my last name isn't Josh. I'm just saying it'd be weird. Don't name your kids after me. Don't name them Trucker Josh. Come on. <laughs> no, one's, no one's even thought of doing that yet. No one's even told me anyways. But you can name him Josh if you want. But I was named after a character in the Bible. Uh, Joshua. Uh, what not. The Battle of Jericho. It means strong and mighty warrior. That's me. That's who I was named after. Uh, anyways, guys. Let's end this vlog. Thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, tomorrow's vlog should be live on the internet. You can find it on all the different networks and platforms that it gets released on. I will see you 